What are dreams? They're magnificent. That would be my answer. <laughs> a magnificent assemblage of images potently created for you in order to bring to consciousness what needs to come to consciousness now. What I am is an acting coach, but I work with singers, musicians, artists, writers, thinkers. And what we're all looking for, whether we're artists or people watching artists, we want the actual courage to be and not perform. And the actor goes to Sandra O. Oh. I'd like to thank uh, my mentor, um, Kim Gillingham, and all the fellow creative uh, dreamers. I am not the actor I am without the work that we share. For me, my religion is, is the art. That's how I've learned to also open up creativity in a way where it's, it's a constant peeling of the onion. It doesn't stop. It's very demanding. Anyone who is a professional artist, you know how much work it takes. It just, it doesn't just come. You need to find support and inspiration. Good. In whatever way is right for you, scrape one layer of self-consciousness off of the body. The work of coming into contact with your dreams and your soul is very, very easy. Hi, hi, hi. You don't need to read a book. You don't need to take a class. All you need is curiosity and breath. Good, see if you can feel what wants to come up and through you, start to see what the feeling of that wants to come up and through. If you do get a complete dream, it follows the same line as a classical play. The first image will reveal to you what the problem or what's cooking, and then going forward, how it's unfolding, then there'll be a crisis or a turning point, something and then the lysis of the dream or the end of the dream showing where the energy wants to go. If I'm working from the intellect or the ego, I will go and be like, very nice, that was just a lovely show, I, wonderful, where shall we go for dinner? But if the person's working with soul, then I feel it, I have an experience of it. Soulfulness is contagious. People come from the dark in here where we're very, very private and the work is very raw and protected and then have the courage to take it out and I see it delivered through material. It's, it's incredibly exciting. Incre I feel like um, each time I see it, I feel like we're making a little breath dent in the idea of how it has to be and, and bringing through the humanity. The fate of the world rests in our leaders and the artists that will make the material that will inform the culture.